Yes. Meanwhile, as of now, not a single person we know of has been held accountable for the IRS targeting of conservative groups. We've heard about early resignations and people put on paid leave or moved around, but zero firings. And if you want an idea of why people are so skeptical about this IRS probe, listen to some of this exchange moments ago this happened as Republican lawmaker Jim Jordan of Ohio questioned FBI Director Mueller about how the Justice Department investigation is going. Based on everything I've seen, quoting Mr. Cummings, the case is solved. This is regarding the IRS which, scandal. Which case? The IRS scandal. The IRS case? Yeah. You know, the IRS case is uh, currently under investigation, and uh, basically Start it's just started. Yeah. What can you tell us? I mean, you started a month ago. What can you, what can you tell us about, about this? Have you found uh, any, any, have you found the now infamous two rogue agents? Have you discovered who those people are? Uh, I, I needless to say, because it's under investigation, I can't give out anything. Can you, tell, can you tell me some bases? Can you tell me how many agents, investigators you've assigned to the case? Uh, may be able to do that, but I'd have to get back to you. Can you tell me who the lead investigator is? Off the top of my head, no. This is the most important issue in front of the country the last six weeks. You don't know who's heading up the case? Who the lead investigator is? Uh, at this juncture, no, I do not know who the Can you get that information to us? We'd like to know. We'd like to know how many people you've assigned to look into this situation. Uh, I have not had a recent briefing on it. I had a briefing on it when we first initiated it, but I have not had a recent briefing as to where we are. So you don't know who's leading the case? I do not know who is the lead agent. Do you know if you've talked to any of the victims? Have you talked to any of the groups who were targeted by their government? Have you met with any of the Tea Party folks since May 14, 2013? I don't know what the status of the interviews are by uh, the team that's on it. Let's debate all of this, shall we? Julie Reginsky is a Fox News contributor who served as a political advisor to the late New Jersey Senator Frank Lautenberg. Mark Thiessen is a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute and a former speechwriter for President George W. Bush. Welcome to both of you. Thanks so much. Julie, Thanks let me start us. with you. Should FBI Director Mueller have been able to give a few more of those answers about the investigation into the IRS? Scandal? Well, you know, it is an ongoing investigation, so I think his code of conduct, and, and I, I believe the law, although I'm not sure about that, probably dictates that he can't go into too much detail about what's going on. It is being investigated. I'm, I'm glad it's being investigated. I think it needs to be invest we need to investigate the hell out of this until we figure out who is responsible for it. But uh, in terms of trying to embarrass him by asking him the names of specific agents who are investigating this, look, Congressman Jordan knows that, uh, you know, he thinks this is the most important thing going on before the country. I, I happen to think the Boston bombing is something that the FBI is probably focused on as well and a bunch of other things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I'll give him some slack for not knowing the specific name of the specific agent. I'm just happy to hear they're investigating it. Mark, should we know more at this point after a month? Well, he just admitted he hasn't been briefed on it for a month, so it doesn't exactly look like they're spending a lot of time on this. But look, this, this is a, we've got a situation now where almost 70 percent of the country thinks that Barack Obama either knew or initiated the targeting of conservatives at the IRS, including, and this is the most amazing number from your Fox News poll, almost 50 percent of Democrats think that he knew or initiated the targeting. Now, I don't know if he knew, but why is it that so many Americans and so many Democrats think he did? Well, maybe it's because this is a president who said back in October 2009, we're going to punish our enemies and reward our friends who stand with us in important issues. A president who tried to create an enemies list by ex issuing an executive order requiring anyone with a federal contract to disclose their political contributions. Whose own, political, whose own economic advisor claimed to know what was in the tax returns of Koch Industries and the Senate Democratic leader claimed to know what was in Mitt Romney's tax, uh, tax returns. Yeah. So well, even if he didn't direct this initially, he's created a climate that allowed the IRS to think it's okay to punish our enemies and reward our friends. I want to ask both of you right now about who has been held accountable for the IRS scandal. So let me just go through what we know in terms of how people have been moved around. The acting commissioner, Steve Miller, resigned after we found out about this. The head of the IRS tax exempt division that was the root of all of this after Lois Lerner named Joseph Grant, he has stepped down. The IRS, one IRS employee in Cincinnati has been reassigned. And Lois Lerner, of course, uh, has been placed on administrative leave, but as we now know, she is still collecting all of her paycheck. Julie, is that good enough? Should Americans feel satisfied with that? I think we should let this investigation take its course. The FBI is conducting, and I think once we find out who is responsible, they should lose their jobs, as you well know, after the Nixon administration botched what they did with the IRS, the law became such that the president really can't get involved in firing people at the IRS. That's part of the Watergate reforms that we saw back in the 70s. But once we find out
who was responsible. And I think we all agree that what went on was heinous. Once we find out who was responsible, those people should go. But to start calling for the heads of people without having all the information before us, I think is premature, and I think that's unprofessional. And furthermore, you can't have the President of the United States getting involved in this because the law prohibits him from doing it. Also, to Mark's previous point, you know, that whole punish our enemies, reward our friends quote was taken so out of context that the more you keep repeating it doesn't make it any more true. That that's what the President said at a rally when he's talking to Latinos, saying this is not the attitude you should have about punishing your friends and rewarding your, punishing your enemies, rewarding your friends. That is a quote that is I'm so sick of having that quote taken out of context, Except especially when we know better. That's not what he was it, saying at go all. Go ahead, Mark. Well, I just gave you the context, Julie. No, you I didn't. I just gave you the context. I, the, the context, context was the absolutely yeah, I did. a no, I gave you the con Excuse me. Hold on. Let me now say, say what I want to say here. The context is a president who tried to issue an executive order that would force everybody who applied for a federal contract to disclose their donors, who went after the Chamber of Commerce and accused them of taking foreign money with no evidence, uh, to who, 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 whose own economic advisor claimed to know it was in the tax returns of Coke Industries. So that's the context for you, Julie. Mark, but here's the problem. Yeah, go ahead. Is that what's happened is, well, the, the problem is, is what's happened here is that we've broken the fundamental trust between our government and the people. The people, the, you showed that statistic in the last, seg, is, uh, last half hour uh, that showed that 73% of the American people don't trust their government. That has implications beyond uh, the IRS scandal. We now have a situation with the NSA disclosures where people don't trust the National Security Agency. I've been trying to defend the Obama administration for a week and tell people Big Brother isn't listening to your phone calls and reading your emails. You know what people say to me? Well, if the IRS abused its powers. Why did? Why can, should we trust the NSA? So we've got it. We, this is actually this scandal is actually harming national security because people don't trust their government in a situation where, in a where we're trying to defend the country from terror, and it requires a trust because it's classified. But, so yeah. this has been incredibly damaging. Uh, and guys, I only have a couple of seconds left. Julie, how long should we give this investigation? Until they get to the bottom of it, and I hope they get to the bottom of it very quickly. But I mean, are we talking months? Are we talk I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't work at the FBI, so I have no idea how long these things but usually you know, take. But you know that sometimes what happens in these investigations is that they run out the clock. They hope that the American public will forget about it, and sometimes we do. I have to tell you, as a Democrat, I hope that's not the case. I hope they get to the bottom of it. I hope they get to the bottom of it quickly. But I see no other way to figure out exactly who was held accountable other than the president breaking the law, going in there and saying, I'm going to fire people indiscriminately because somebody's head needs to roll. The president can't do that. He legally is prohibited from doing that. So I hope the FBI does his job, and I hope we find out who it is. And I think that's a bipartisan sentiment that we should all share. Mark, very quickly, how long are we going to give this? Uh, as long as it takes, but you know, they, they, they don't have to. He, they, Mueller doesn't have to know the name of the agent, but he ought to at least show that he's on top of this. It looked from that uh, briefing like he had no idea what was going on in the investigation of this. And this is a criminal act. This is not just about firing people. This is about finding out who committed the crime and putting them in jail. Got it, Mark Thiessen.